Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading the book, Holes Apart. This book is written by Jean Willis and illustrated by Jarvis. So this is the front cover. This is the back cover. And this is the spine. And the spine says, Holes Apart. Okay, friends, let's get started. Holes Apart. A red hat. This is the title page, Holes Apart. As everyone knows, penguins are found at the South Pole and never at the North Pole, at least not until today. The Pilchard Browns got lost on their way to a picnic. Mr. Pilchard Brown was in charge of the map. He told everyone to turn right at the snowman, which was wrong. Now, here they all were on the other side of the world, Mr. and Mrs. Pilchard Brown and Peaky, Poots, and Pog, drifting towards an enormous, furry, white something. Hmm, wonder what it is. Is it a lion? Is it a tiger? Asked Peaky and Boots. Is it a picnic blanket? Asked Pog. The enormous something looked them up and down. He had never seen anything like the Pilchard Browns before. I'm Mr. White, he said. I'm a polar bear. And you are parrots, said Peaky and Boots. Pork pies said Pog. We're penguins, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. What are you doing here, wondered Mr. White. We're going to a picnic at the South Pole, said Pog. This is the North Pole, my friends, said Mr. White. The South Pole is 12,430 miles that way. Anyone can make a mistake, Mr. Pilchard Brown said with a shrug. Think of it as a mistake, said Mr. White. Think of it as the start of a big adventure. Maybe I could help you find your way home. I have often dreamed of being the first polar bear to reach the South Pole. Mom says we should always follow our dreams, said Peaky. And Dad says we should always follow him, said Poots. Lead the way, Mr. White, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. So they're going to go on an adventure. The penguins followed Mr. White over land and sea. Eek, said Peaky. Whoa, said Poots. Can we have a picnic now, asked Pog. But it wasn't the best spot. So they followed Mr. White all the way to... The United States. Howdy, said Mr. Pilchard Brown. Busy, said Peaky. Buzzing, said Poots. God, look at them. Can we have our picnic now? Asked Pog. Not yet, dear, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. The U.S. was awesome, but it wasn't home. So they followed Mr. White all the way to... England. How do you do? said Mr. Pilchard Brown. Gray, said Peaky. Grand, said Poots. Look at them. They're all on a bus. Now can we have our picnic? asked Pog. Not here, dear, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. England was charming, but it wasn't home. So they followed Mr. White all the way to... Italy. Ciao, said Mr. Pilchard Brown. Wet, said Peaky. Wonderful, said Poots. I need to pee, said Pog. Not here, dear, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. <gasps> Looks like they're in Venice. Oh, they're riding a gondola. Maybe eating some ice cream right here. Italy was magnifico, but it wasn't home. 
So they followed Mr. White all the way to India. Namaste, said Mr. Pilchard Brown. Hot, said Peaky. Huge, said Poots. Put the python down, dear, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. <gasps> look, look at Bog wrapped up in the python. And here is the Taj Mahal. India was dazzling, but it was at home. So they followed Mr. White all the way to Australia. Good day, said Mr. Pilchard Brown. Faster, said Peaky. Fun, said Poots. Can we have our picnic now, said Pog. Soon, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. Australia was bonzer, but it still wasn't home. So they followed Mr. White over the land and over the sea and on and on they went. Are we almost there? Asked Peaky Poots and Pog. Do you think they're almost there? I see some ice. It's not far now, said Mr. White. So they followed him left, right, left, right, left, right, all the way to home. Please stay, Mr. White, said Peaky and Boots. You can share our picnic, said Pog. But the South Pole wasn't his home. He was a polar bear, and polar bears live in the North Pole, which is why he said goodbye and traveled 12,430 miles all the way back to, where did he go? The North Pole which is where he belonged. He followed his wildest dream and had had the best adventure. He was happy to be home, but sad that he would never see a penguin again. But then, to Mr. White's delight, what's gonna happen? He did. Hello. He asked, oh, I see some shells. I wonder if this was a baby who was just born. Then he heard a familiar voice. Someone put my egg in your hat, said Mrs. Pilchard Brown. Look who it is. It's the Pilchard Browns. They came by balloon back to the North Pole. Can we have our picnic now? Asked Pog. Please make yourselves at home, said Mr. White. And they did. Because even though penguins and polar bears live poles apart, friends are always welcome. And look, looks like you're gonna spend time together. And here's right here is the baby. Here's the baby penguin and here's the pilchard browns and they're all gonna spend time together. The end. So this book was called Poles Apart. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime Friends and I'll see you next time.